Hello everybody and welcome back. It's back to another video. My name is Tora July. You can call me Tora. You can call me July. You know how we do this channel. Anyways, as you can see in my screen, we got the Steam uh, UI. We are in big game mode. No, we are on the Steam Deck. If you can see here, I got the Steam Deck and I am projecting it over on my PC. Now it looks kind of narrowed up or narrowed down. That's because I have no idea how to get it run properly on my OBS. But either way, I think that for, for the purposes of this video, it's going to be fine. Besides, we're not going to be spending a lot of time in here because I'm going to show you how to be how to emulate your favorite games on the Steam Deck. It's great. I will not be doing the Nintendo Switch one yet because that's a whole process in itself. And I think uh, I need to do a separate video on that. OK, but anyways, once you boot up your Steam Deck, you want to hit your Steam or go to Steam menu, go to power and then go to to desktop mode. OK, hit X on that. I'm going to I'm going to try and be pretty quick here with it. All right. Once we are on desktop mode, close this window down because I don't want to show you. You want to go to Firefox. OK, if you don't have Firefox in here, go to here to this to, to the star menu. Type in Firefox in here. It should appear. And then you, you open it up. OK, once you open Firefox up, you want to go to the Emu Deck website. I'm going to have the link in the description. If you're watching this uh, on YouTube, obviously. Oh, the links in the description you want to go to that link that i'm going to have in the description and just hit download it's going to take you to the patreon page don't worry just go up and hit steam os you want to go ahead and download it for free that's going to download over here once it downloads you want to hit here on the little uh folder and then you want to open up emudeck.desktop.download you want to double click that it's going to start installing and downloading everything. It's going to take me a little while because as you can see in the bottom here, it's uh, the network. It's uh, yeah, <laughs> it's very slow. Um, I'm far away from my router and I don't have an extender and I'm not using a dock. I'm using a, like a cable I got from Walmart. It was like a 10 buck, 10 bucks. Either way, you want to check for this, this, this window will pop up. Uh, let me move it here to the side so you guys can see it. It's going to say, welcome to the Emu Deck uh, for SteamOS. You will not want to hit Linux. You want to hit uh, oh, SteamOS over on the website. Okay. Everything once you're once you're in here instead of going for easy mode, I know it's tempting you want to go for custom mode. Trust me on this because you're going to have a lot more. Uh, you're going to have a lot of a lot more flexibility. That's the word hit next. Uh, I'm going to pick an internal internal storage hit next. We're going to pick Emu deck or I mean Steam Deck. Hit next. Now, here is where things get a little uh spicy you can go for emulation station or you can go for steam rom manager i'm gonna go here for steam rom manager okay so we're gonna hit that we're gonna pick all of them keep hitting next if you're not sure which one you want to pick these are the emulators just just pick all of them it, it, you can later down the line uninstall them if you will need to just keep hitting next uh, configure auto save. I want to leave on the auto save for sure. I want, uh, I am already logged in to my retro achievements, but if you have a retro achievement account, you should, you should log in. If you don't, I'm going to have the link for the retro achievements down in the description so you can create your own account. Once you have done that, click next. And then in here, we, we can tell it you want bezels or no. I'm going to choose yes, because that's cool. Uh, original aspect ratio on that one. This is this one. I'm going to keep normal, uh, normal. And in here in the classic 3D games, I'm going to pick 16 by nine because those games the, for the games that support it. And on GameCube, again, 16 by nine for the game supported. Pay in mind that this is expect some graphical glitches on some games. OK. And configure shaders. I just want it. No, I want it clean, clean, clean. 
and then i'm gonna leave a equals b and that's everything okay then we're gonna go hit finish here and over here it's installing emudeck it will, it will take around depending on how many uh emulators you pick it's gonna take a few minutes i definitely suggest you just go ahead and make some coffee put some netflix on and just let it happen okay i'm gonna go right ahead and let this run and i'll meet you guys back okay when i am done with this all right guys so once uh emu deck has installed everything and everything's been downloaded you should have something that goes along the the you know the lines like this if you have a few red access and stuff you can also run a custom reset or install the emulator uh using manage emulator page uh but you can just reinstall it if you if you need to okay uh make sure you have good internet if you don't have good internet some it, it, it'll definitely go wrong but yeah my first time i did this i had a bunch of x's i just had to reinstall it again do the process that i just showed you guys and it definitely will will work trust me but you just make sure you you, you have good internet okay anyways once you're in this page and you, everything is ready hit next i want to do manual copy we can do automatic import uh but i i'm just gonna do manual copy okay so we'll do emulation folder okay and then, and then we go here to roms and this is where you're gonna have all of your roms you can have xbox 360 wii u all of them roms okay so yeah for ps2 you, you're, you're gonna have them here for switch and all these games you're gonna have it here so okay guys so i'm back i got a sonic game so i put it on my genesis uh rom rom folder which is right here that's what you want to do uh we can close out of this tab if you want but just make sure that if you're gonna add a rom uh it's gotta be home emulation roms and then you know depending on on which console the rom is for you gotta put it here okay uh, ne uh on a separate video i'm gonna show you how to play switch games that's gonna be really cool but on this video i can't because that's the whole process and it's kind of like it's kind of tedious okay uh, and there's not a lot of tutorials there that do it right so i want to do it right by you guys so it's gonna be a whole separate video for this one you can play all the games that don't require bios or any other extra setup okay once you're done you can close the window this is going to say waiting for manual copy once you have copied the files click on the next button that's what i did how to launch your games it's going to show you how to do it uh so steam rom manager or sm is a tool that will add your games emulators to your steam library so you can launch the games in game mode so we're gonna go and see launch steam rom manager and this is gonna do that we can hit yes this will close steam then it's gonna open steam rom manager we can do this oops wrong one you can do this one over here like that uh we got all the parcels parsers added already it does it automatically for you if you want to go here as just here go to parse add games it's gonna add emulation station for you what you want to do is save save to steam doing batch done add and removing entries you can close this if you want once you're here, make sure that Emudeck is correctly installed, okay? But you can close out of the console if you need to. Uh, again, if you want to add another game, let's say I want to add a Nintendo 64 game, right? All right, so once that you add all the games, right, after you install it, how do you get back to that menu? All you got to do is just, uh, let's look for it. Steam Room Manager. Here we go. Click on that. Hit yes. Sorry, not Emotec. Just hit Steam Realm Manager. And I click yes. You gotta go add games. Parse. 
you're gonna have donkey kong country that's uh that's the new the new uh one i added i did add one okay so we're gonna go i think i added it to the wrong one so we're gonna go emulation again rom i'm just showing you all this so you guys can see it maybe i didn't add it so let's look for n64 just right here and see if it's in here it's not in here we're gonna go here to downloads we're gonna do this open it up we're gonna hit extract extract two and we're gonna go for home again emulation roms and we're gonna look for the n64 right here n64 extract should have extracted right there uh i have the gba version one here we're gonna right click here and do move to trash because we don't need that we need the c64 anyways now that we've done with that that's how you add roms to, to your game i'm gonna go back to steam rom manager right we're gonna go again we're gonna go here and we're gonna do uh refresh that's gonna add the games for the purposes of this video all you gotta do is just hit once you're done with the games save to steam it's gonna do all of that it's probably gonna take you a few you can zoom in or add, zoom out anyways once you're done go here click or exit out of it and then return to gaming mode and hopefully it will work hit the steam go to library then go to non-steam go to donkey kong country we hit play there it is you guys can't hear it because i haven't muted it, but this is donkey kong country for the nintendo for for the game boy advance you guys hear it i think you guys can let me let me fix it uh, okay so we can play a game here So we're playing the game, right? Okay, so in here, for the 64, just hit Donkey Kong 64, hit it. Shaders, everything's gonna load in. DK, Donkey Kong, of the bunch, you know him well. He's finally back to kick some tail. <laughs> anyways that's donkey kong 64 um as you can see that that's the emulation aspect of it uh it's pretty easy pretty simple to do if you need anything else to do just go to the desktop i said switch to desktop now if you want to add like for example uh emulation station was not working for me for some reason uh and i couldn't play i couldn't play the sonic game what you want to do is go here again let's look for anyway steam rom manager again if you want to add an emulator we got the arcade arcade sega dreamcast but i don't see any genesis here right so what you want to do is just create a parser create a parser and go here to search for preset it's loading the options just gonna wait it and we're gonna go Look for Sega Genesis. Keep going down, keep going down. Sega Master System. So we're gonna use uh, Sega Genesis, Mega Drive, RetroArc, plus GX. Uh, Path to ROMs, so gonna do this. Now we're gonna look for the ROMs uh, folder. It should be pretty simple emulation roms then look for genesis which should be the g's game gear genesis right here genesis open genesis make a drive do that and then hit save And if we go Sega Genesis, go here to add games, parse. 
What do we got? We got Sonic the Hedgehog. But anyways, once you're done adding the stuff, sit, hit save to game. Close it and then go back to gaming mode. And usually that's it. Like it's not a lot to do. It's pretty simple. Um, if you're having trouble with the games, like it's not working properly, you might have to reinstall it. And like I said, make sure you have proper internet uh, connection. Make sure your internet is not suffering. Okay. Because as you can see, everything is working fine. You want to go to library on steam games as you can see some games have the artwork some don't uh you can like i said add them manually but if you hit the game again let's go it should work from the rip if you for some reason like for me it's not jumping he he is not jumping you can just go to steam right uh controller settings Directional pad. Okay. You go to controller settings. Apply layout. Let's go. Okay. Sonic closed. Let's see if it's working right now. Sega. Cause it wasn't even jumping. He wasn't even jumping. So there you go. Now it is. So it's working now. Okay. Boom! 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 And we. And that's that sonic <laughs> anyways i think i showed you guys what you can do with the steam deck on the next episode we will definitely uh go over the switch emulation aspect of things i've been recording for an hour you you definitely will not see an hour anyways if you like this type of content consider subscribing if you think it was helpful give me a like i'm new at the steam deck emulation aspect of things but i've learned quite a few things over the weeks uh, I've had the Steam Deck right now for two weeks and I've been studying it up and trying to get the ins and out of it. So it's going to be pretty interesting to get um, Steam working. Uh, I mean, the emulation working on the Steam Deck. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I don't know, I'm out, I guess. <laughs> Take care, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and like, okay? It helps the, the channel. Let me know what type of videos you would like to see next, okay? But the Switch one is coming in. It's coming in, okay? Take care, guys. Bye. Nos vemos. Adios.